most fascinating part of the human body that differentiates us from all other species is the brain. It's amazing that this three pound organ is the interpreter of our senses, it's the controller of our behavior, it's the initiator of all our body movement and it's the seat of our intelligence. The brain is the crown jewel of the human body. It is the source of all the qualities that define our humanity. What an immense privilege it is to be able to impact young minds in their formative years. To be able to impact a young mind's quality of thought, fine-tuning of skills that impact their future destiny. It's an amazing responsibility and privilege that we have. As educators, we know that we're making a difference in children's learning and enrichment as they grow. The passion and joy that we feel can only be felt in the heart. There's no doubt in the way that we are educating and raising the next generation, the future is literally in our hands, in the way that we teach children and the way that we reach out to them. If we're going to do it, we might as well do it the right way and we might as well do it very effectively. We need to use the research on learning, the research on cognition, the research on how this fabulous organ, our brain, works. How does it remember? How does it store information? How does information go into our long-term memory? These are the things that a teacher needs to know. It's been my ongoing pursuit to understand what research studies say and what the trends in education are asking educators to pay attention to. Just as it is important for any professional to be updated with their field, it's really important for teachers to also be up to date with what research and trends have to say as far as education is concerned. When it comes to teaching, what is the inspiration and motivation that we can derive from these research studies? What is it that we can learn about bettering our teaching practices, about making learning more impactful, about making learning more long-lasting? Having been a student of psychology honors and then going on to pursue education administration and instructional leadership, I understand that the relationship between psychology and education is an extremely strong one. The ABCs of Brain Compatible Learning has been put together in an easy to follow guide as well as this corresponding video. You can take a look at the guide and the video at once or study one letter at a time and implement those techniques and tips in your classroom. In fact, this whole format of ABCs was put together over a decade back um, for an orientation program for teachers as well as parents. Um, the ABC tips were basically a quick reference guide, 26 letters, 26 things to keep in mind that put neuroscience together and what we can take into the classroom to improve learning and teaching environments. Basically drawing from my own experiences of the different techniques of brain-based learning that we've implemented in classrooms across the schools over the last two decades, uh, we've basically compiled in this guide and video so that it could be an easy, quick reference guide for other teachers who are aspiring to make their learning practices more effective.